Hey guys, welcome to the Service Now World, and today we'll see part 13 of scenario based interview questions in Service Now. As you know, in this series, we are discussing about all the real time scenarios as well as scripting questions which are given by interviewer during interview. So without any delay, let's see today's task. So today's task is when a priority in an incident form changes, we have to populate updated priority in short description field. For example, if short description is Windows Server is down and priority changes to P1, then we want to short description like critical hyphen Windows Server is down. Same as if it's P2, then short description will be high hyphen Windows Server is down and that's same for uh, other priority as well. So the uh, requirement is very simple. It's like whenever the priority got changes, so we want that priority uh, in the short description as well. So we don't have to uh, we, we don't remove the short description, whatever the short description is there that we have to keep it, but we have to add the priority as well. Okay. So let's go to the instance and try to implement it. So currently we are in our instance and firstly, let's open one of the incident. So I'll just and I'll open one of the incident. So let's say, let me open this incident. So what is the requirement requirement is that like whenever the when for existing tickets, whenever the priority got changes. So let's say like if I'm changing there. So it's changes to P2, right? So I want something like this. Hi hyphen unable to access the shared folder. If it changes to P1. So I want something like this. Critical. So like this. Okay. So for this, we know that like what we need to do. So we know that like uh, for the requirement is that like after updating the priority, we want this, this priority in a short description field. So we'll write after business rule. Okay. So let me in filter navigator, we'll type business rules and under system definition and then click on new. Okay. So now this new record of the business rule got opened. So we'll put the name. Name shall be like uh, update inc priority in short description. Okay, DSC that will be fine. Okay, then select the table. So I want this business rule to be run on incident table. So select incident. Then we have to select the advanced because we need need to write to some script as well. So we'll select the advanced option. And then here from when we want to run after updating the record. So like after business rule and then here from here we'll check update. Now if we go down, we have to put the condition as well. So like condition is when priority changes. Okay. Now come to the advanced part and here we have to write the script. So in script, what we need to do, the first step is that firstly, we'll get the display value of priority. So I'll create one variable where prior because I don't, I don't want to keep it same. And then write current dot short underscore description dot get display value okay so not short description it will be priority sorry my bad so priority for the priority we need the display value okay then what we need to we have to split that value uh, priority display value on the basis of uh, basis of hyphen so I'll write prior equal to prior dot split on the basis of hyphen okay so why on the basis of hyphen so if you see their display values one hyphen critical so we want this second part right critical only we don't want one hyphen after critical we want hyphen right so we'll put it so if we split on the basis of hyphen we'll get the first part will be the one and second part will be the critical and the index for for one the index will be zero and for the critical the index will be one so that will be like like that okay now we have to check 
whether that priority is any priority is already added in a short description or not if it's already added we have to remove them so firstly for checking that to write the condition like current dot short description short description dot index of index of index of what we need to find in the short description that will be the hyphen okay index of not equal to not equal to minus one why minus one that's the question right so we are checking we are trying to find like check this line means check in short description whether hyphen is there or not if it's not there so if it's found then it will return their position right but if it's if it's not found it will return minus one so i have reversed this condition here if it's found so if not equal to minus one means if hyphen is found in the short description what we need to do so we have to create one variable short dc dsc and store the current short description okay once we store the short description what we need to do we have to split the short description on the basis of again what to sort dsc equal to sort dsc dot split split on the basis of hyphen okay now we have to update the short description so like current dot sort description equal to prior index of one index of one means why in index of zero this value will be there for priority in index of one this value will this value will be there so this value we need that so that's why we write prior index of one then concatenate operator yes then concatenate operator and here i'll concatenate the hyphen then again concatenate operator and then sort underscore dsc index of one why index of one if you see here or if i split this sort sort description on the basis of hyphen so this will be the first part their index will be zero this will be the set second part this complete this will be the complete second one their index will be one so that index one value we want so that's why i put index one here okay so if it's like if already one uh, any priority got added if it's no priority is there so that logic will write in a else part so if no priority is there what you need to current dot short description equal to equal to prior index of one then concatenate operator then so it will be like hyphen then plus then current dot short description okay once we're done with that we have to call the function that is current dot update function so let me drag it down yes current dot update function so whatever we have assigned in the short description we have to assign uh, update that value okay so looks good for me think and uh, we are good to go let me click on formatting so it will format the code and let me check once again cross verify so firstly what we'll do we are create one variable that prior and there we're storing the priority display value and then we are splitting that priority value on the basis of hyphen okay then what we'll do is checking whether in any hyphen already present in short description or not okay so if it's already found so what we sort we will will store we create one more variable the sort desc and then store the current uh, current short description value on that then again we are splitting the short uh, short short description on the basis of hyphen then we are updating the short short description by taking the uh, priority what when a uh, prior index one value then concatenate with hyphen and then short short description index one value first index value okay if it's not there then we simply updating the current of short short description with with the priority for, uh, index for one value with hyphen then uh, whatever the short short description is there so i think it looks good and let me save this
and if I refresh it here and uh, let's say if I'll update it here like one so now they are priorities two and if I'll update it so let me update the work notes as well otherwise cause a problem so I updated the work notes and let's see what's the short description now yes if you see that exactly it's working right now the P priority is P2 and they are high hyphen unable to access the shared folder that exactly we want right if I again updated their priority to P4 and if I'll update it again okay work notes so now the priority is P4 and if I save this you see that like low hyphen unable to access the shared folder okay so this is the code i think i have explained you and that is the requirement okay so so i hope you got it and if you still have any doubt please write in the comment box i'll respond it till that time thank you god bless you all